guys, c'est moi. It's Wendy again from Wendy Wise Beauty. And this is part two of what's in my trash for the last three, four months. Yeah, I haven't done a video in a long time, like I said in part one. The first video was the luxury trash. And this one, it is the normal trash. You can say a uh, premium brands, drugstore, uh, organic products, everything else I have left over. Guys, this is gonna go pretty quick because a lot of these products are staples. So once again, from my husband, we have the Anna Marie Berlin. It is the two-in-one face and body wash. He uses this almost every day and also uh the logona which is another uh bio organic brand here and this is the shampoo and shower gel he always uses two in one products this is always in our trash the next product that i have this is from rituals and it is the ritual of sakura magic touch body cream i do like the products from rituals but every time i go into the store i am picking up rituals of sakura the next time i have to force myself to pick up another uh, aroma series this body lotion i did not like it sorry dutch monique don't kill me dutch monique is another youtuber and she is uh from the netherlands dutch monique and she loves rituals products and she always has at least one item in her trash from this series i love the body mousse this was awesome but this body lotion, I mean, it smelled nice, it was creamy, but I did not think it did such a nice job of moisturizing my skin. So this one I will not uh, buy again. I have my normal La Roche-Posay. Um, this is my cleanser. I use this religiously. This is now sold in refillable bags. So I have the bottle and I just buy this and then I fill uh, the pump bottle that I have. This is 400 milliliters and guys, I go through this like water because it is an all over cleanser. And a lot of the times in the shower, I also use this as shower gel. I think this product you will see on my channel more than anything else when it comes to trash. Ah, the next product, it is a little gem. This is from uh, Yves Rocher and it is called the uh, Rich Body Scrub, exfoliates and softens with shea butter. Sometimes when I use this, I don't have to use a body lotion because it is so moisturizing the exfoliating particles, it is suspended in a very rich cream. This, I think I paid $4.99 for this at Yves Rocher, and I will definitely be buying this again. This one is shea butter. They have it in different flavors, coconut or uh, whatever, strawberry, but I like this one and I will buy the shea butter again. But I would assume that all the other uh, variations, they are also using shea butter. I would think so. Next, I have a Moroccan oil. This is the Moisture Repair Shampoo. This is very good. I will definitely buy this again, but at the time, I am using more my Augustinus Bader products. I love this especially for the fragrance of this shampoo. It is very soft, it is not aggressive, but in the shower you can smell it and it is very nice. Next is this CeraVe, this micellar cleansing water. 
It took me forever to use this. This is all right, but I mean compared to La Roche-Posay or Aven, a uh, micellar waters this one it is just okay i will not purchase this again and i have my la roche posay sunscreen of course summer is over i have one of those this is a staple summer winter i am using this it is the antilios uv moon 400 it is 50 plus it is simply called the ultimate protection ultra long uva this is an awesome sunscreen and i always um ah, there's nothing there's nothing left in there i was just gonna show you guys that it looks quite white but it goes on transparent on the skin this is from aurelia london it is refine and polish exfoliating mask i did get a what do you call it a beauty box from them uh, a couple months ago the Aurelia London products, they are good. They are not bad products, but I have not found in this line a real gem where I would say I have to have it. I will try again this Christmas and get another line of products because they do have a really good sale where they give up to 40% and they do nice gift sets. I will try again one of those, but like I said, the products I have gotten so far, they are average products. This is from The Ordinary. This is a niacidamine, 10% and zinc. Uh, this is a serum. I used this. It was okay. It's good. It did not irritate my skin. I would say this is worth picking up. The price point is very attractive, so why not? Makeup products. I did finish my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I will not be buying this again. I also finished the um, precisely my brow, uh, eyebrow, uh, pencil. From this three that I polished off, I liked the one from NYX the best. Guys, in terms of eyebrow pencils, my go-to is the eyebrow pencil from Tom Ford. But when reviewing eyebrow pencils, keep it in mind, I do have a bit of problems with my eyebrows. It does not um, grow. It is very sparse. So I am always searching for the perfect products. These two, the Brow Wiz and the one from um, Benefit. Yeah, this is from Benefit, precisely my brow. These I will not be getting. I could see myself getting the one from NYX. The one I'm using at the moment, it is from Maybelline. It is the Tattoo Brow Pencil. This one, I like it very much. But on me, it is pulling a little bit gray. I need to choose the correct uh, color. But it does stay on my eyes quite good. It doesn't transfer. This is a problem I have with uh, eyebrow pencils because I have very little hair. Some of the pencils, they do uh, smudge and they move around during the day so this one from Maybelline this eyebrow tattoo it doesn't do this so this looks quite promising the last product that I have it is from Dr. Hauschka it is the regeneration day cream I use this sometimes and sometimes my husband use it it is always in our trash. It is a staple that we always have in the bathroom, but he is more using it than I am. Anyway, guys, this is it for my normal trash. Please let me know if you are using anything in here, 
what do you think of these products some of them worked very well for me some not but it is cosmetics it is all relative i am always open for um recommendations for eyebrow products if you know of a product which would work super for me and one which is good for people with sparse and next to no eyebrows please let me know about it actually i'm really thinking of maybe getting my eyebrows tattooed but i am afraid that if i get an allergic reaction this might not be good anyway take care guys don't forget to subscribe leave some comments give me a thumbs up and see you again soon tschüss